everybody here on YouTube and welcome. We're playing Slay the Spire today. If you've never played this game, it is a deck building game. It is like Dominion or Ascension or Clank would be, uh, but on the PC. You build a deck of cards and as you add cards, you either get attack or defense, basically attack or protect. Um, you use that to advance, you try to get down three levels to like the dungeon, to the boss, and you try to slay the spire as they say. We've gotten to the end once, we've died twice at the second level boss, so today we're gonna try to get a little bit deeper than the second level boss. I don't care, they unbanned Golgari Griftal. But uh, Golgari Griftal is very different than like unbanning Jason Mind Sculpture though. I think they're never gonna do that. I just don't think they're gonna do it. So last time we... I actually like this one better. I like the attacking... I like the attacking builds of the Ironclad better. You still haven't been the third boss Molly. Hello again, it says. Choose, transform a card. Okay, hold on. So for starters, the relic that we start out with, with uh, this thing is burning blood. At the end of combat, heal six HP. Attack is greater than protect. I think so. I like attack better than protect. I'm over here on Ascension 8. Um, we can obtain a random relic, we can take a curse and transform two cards, or we can lose a starting relic and obtain a random boss relic. This is like pretty RNG, because we could get something really sweet, but we do lose our, at the end of combat, heal 6. I actually really like this relic, so I think we, I just want to take a common relic. Bag of Marbles. At the start of each combat, apply one vulnerable to all enemies. Vulnerable. Creatures take 50% more damage from attacks. Oh, that's a good combo with what we... with the kind of build that we're gonna make. Sunny likes transforming to card and taking a, a curse. You can make it so that the curses don't in, impact you that much, right? Yeah, I like Burning Blood. I think Burning Blood is pretty good. So, this path looks kind of interesting because there's a lot of question marks. There's some gold here and then there's like some fireplaces. So I think we want to kick it off over here. Yeah, we got a good one. Look, we made him vulnerable. So basically, if you never played the game, just so that you have an idea of what's going on over here, this is the amount of energy, like this is the mana that we have every turn. We always start out with three and we, like it deplenishes down to zero. These are the cards. Uh, the text is what they do. On the top left is how much mana they cost and they explain if they're attack or protect. So. This is protect, this is attack. The monsters here tell you what their intent is. So this one intends to attack me with a strategic. So this enemy intends to inflict the negative effect on you. That could be like making me weak, that could be making me confused, that could be a multitude of things. Has other attributes. When it takes attack damage, it rolls up against six block. Block only lasts for one turn, unless like you have a relic that says otherwise. So. For that turn, they have six block. At the end of the turn, that block goes away. Um, and then vulnerable is applied because of our relic. Right now, this applies vulnerable to all the enemies. So this one plans on attacking us next turn. It's going to aggressive for five. So we're going to try to kill that thing. And we actually get to finish it off. So we're not going to take any damage from it. So that's a basic turn order. You try to use as many cards as you can as your hand. There's cards that care about you emptying your hand. There's some that don't care. Bad effects put, like... Uh, Bash is good. It costs two, though. But it puts it at 16, and we also have confused it now, I think. Okay, so it's weakened us, and now it plans on attacking us for six. So we just get to we just get to kill it, though. We get to go strike it, strike it. So that was a good turn for us, because we never took any damage from it. We get 11 gold, a weak potion. That weaks cre weakens creatures. Weakened creatures deal 25% less damage with attack. So that's a good one to say when you can't weaken something, but you're going to take a bunch of damage you don't want to. And... The basic mechanic in many deck building games, you get to add a card to your deck when you're done. So every time you finish one of these fights, you add a card to your deck. Remember, our build is like pretty aggressive. So Intimidate applies one week to all enemies exhaust. So that's kind of like our relic. We get that for free. 
Gain two strength at the end of your turn, lose two strength. That's kind of weird. And heavy blade. Yeah, go gooby flex. Deal 14 damage, strength affects heavy blade three times. Oh! Love it, this game is called Slay the Spire. I just gave my little spiel of what it's like, but it's basically a deck building game. It is very, very fun. I really enjoy this game. I'm gonna take Heavy Blade. If we find ways to increase our strength, that Heavy Blade becomes very good. Burb, man, what are you doing in the game? So it's planning on using a buff, so we should bash it. Or... I think we just want to Heavy Blade and then strike. Yeah. And it's gonna use a buff and it's not really gonna matter. Party Burb is here. So, their vulnerable wears off because this one only gives you vulnerable one. Um, one, the number refers to how many turns the vulnerable affects. So if it's like vulnerable two, it, it lasts over a period of two turns. So now it's planning on hitting us for six. So we wanna go, this defense for five. So you want to go strike, strike, and then just one defense. It's, we're going to take one damage, but we have a relic here that at the end of combat we heal six HP. So it's not going to matter very much. And now we just get to kill it because we just heavy blade it. Yeah. So we take 17 gold and we add a card to our deck. All right, chat, what do we want? Clothesline. Remember, taking cards that cost two is like not really where you want to be at because... You only get three mana per turn, unless you have a, a card that tells you that you get a better, like you get more mana at the beginning of the turn. So a lot of cards, if you just, co they cost two and you have multiple twos in your hand, like that can get pretty awkward. Flame barrier is these. Gain 12 block whenever you are attacked this turn, deal four damage to the attacker. Yeah, I mean, I'm just saying like, you don't want to like just slam two mana cards all the time, Sunny. Flame Barrier does seem good. Gain 12 block and whenever you attack this turn, deal 4 damage to the attacker. Yeah, Duel seems like card disadvantage. I, I kind of agree with you guys that Flame Barrier could be pretty sweet. So let's take it and see if maybe we can draft some stuff that makes us have more mana at the beginning of the turn. Like it's planning on attacking us for 7, so this Flame Barrier is actually going to be pretty good. Because we get 12 block, it's going to attack, it's going to take damage, and now we also get to attack him. Haste. And we blocked all of it. Now it's hitting us for 12. Uh, it's at 36. We don't really care to vulnerable it as much... Well, that doesn't mean we get to kill it a little bit faster. Maybe we bash it. Hold on. Maybe we're going to bash it and then defense, defense. Oh, shit. That's right. So we can just do one defense. Because we're going to take seven there. But that's fine because I think we can probably... Hey, Ty Tuesday, how are you? Uh, power mana, yes. Um, this is how much we have at the beginning of the turn. All right, they took a bunch of damage from that too. So they're at 17. I won my spot on the overly rack. Hey, Bim, welcome back. Yeah, we can just kill this. And then at the end of the turn, we heal back up to basically 80. Regen potion, what does that do? Regen, heal 3 HP at the end of each turn for 5 turns. So at, like at a boss fight or something, we want to do that because we'll have a ton of time. Like we'll get a lot of turns to, to put that to good use. <laughs> Flame barrier to a people's nerf. It has been pretty good so far. But thank you again, Bim, for the bits. I appreciate it. And how have you been, Tide Tuesday? We have another heavy blade, but I don't think we want multiples of that. And then he loses two strength and exhaust. 
Exhaust means that uh, you don't get to play that card again for that round. So like once you've exhausted a card, it is out for that battle. I think I'm gonna skip it too. Hey, I am Engineering, how are you? It is good to see you. How's the move going? Engineering, I'm moving too, so I hear you. I think your move is a little bit, is within the same town though. Okay, so we have 146 cash monies. We can't buy any of the relics, unfortunately. Let's see. We could remove like a protect from our deck to make our deck a little bit more powerful and smaller. Like, and this flame barrier is cheap. Heavy Blade is good. The Luke, I, I have liked that card. We could take this. It's like a pretty good deal. Flame barrier is good and it only costs 36. Multiples of Heavy Blade are great if you have Strength, Relics, and Demon form. Pick up a Flex. Gain 2 Strength at the end of your turn. Lose 2 Strength. That doesn't look very good. It's going well. My big issue is that I sold all my furniture when I first moved to Victoria, so I'm slowly getting everything back together. Yeah, that I'm sure is like a pretty hard part of it, Ben. I am moving to Denver from Chicago, so like part of what I'm doing too is like selling my furniture, and I am getting some new furniture when I'm there, but it's just like so much. Like Moving just always ends up being so much more work than you think it's going to be. Flex is amazing. Yeah, Apotheosis is really good. We can't afford it though. Half who made Apotheosis an innate card today that was dope. Oh, upgrade all of your cards for the rest of combat. Exhaust. That is a really good card to have a um, innate. I think I'm gonna take Flame Barrier. It's just a good deal. Wait, no. And I'm gonna remove a like upper tech. Cause I have all these flame barriers now. Yeah. So we thinned our deck basically. So we block 12. We actually just want a bunch of block for next turn. They're gonna attack us for a lot. Why does this NPC remind you of Dark Souls? Uh, I guess it has some, some resemblance. Oh, they put a wound in my deck. Yeah, moving sucks. This one is planning to defend, to block and use a buff. This one's planning to make some strategic stuff. All right, so let's heavy blade, probably this guy. And, Sometimes it's more expensive to move your stuff than to buy new two. Yes, that is part of it too. God, that wound looks so garbage right now. I'm gonna have to spend two things to kill this because otherwise we're gonna take a bunch of damage. It's unfortunate. Attack, attack, and then defend. All right. Favorite place stayed in Chicago. Uh, I love, Flame is gonna be dope here. I love um, Cafe Babariba. Strike it. It's a tapas place uh, by like, not, not all the way up to Lakeview, kind of like in Lincoln Park. It is really, 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 really good. Applying too vulnerable seems appealing because it has a really high life total still. Okay. Well, for Victoria, I have to take a ferry to get to the island, so it's way cheaper to just buy everything here, to be honest. Where were you moving to, Ben? Or moving from? Oh, boy. Hitting us for 17. I guess I'm just defending twice, huh? No, let's just hit it one time. And then we can kill it next turn. Just one province over. I see it. Yeah, we can just strike it now. I'm gonna have to start using that regen potion in a second. Deal 12 damage, apply two weak. Flex, gain two strength at the end of your turn, lose two strength. Rupture, whenever you lose HP from a card, you gain one strength.
Yeah, so yeah, Ben, I, I am also like in the middle of like trying to sell some of my furniture and stuff just because the furniture that I have here doesn't really work in the place that I'm moving into. So I want to buy a sleeper sofa so that my mom has a place to stay when she comes visit me. But that also means that I that like I would need a new sofa. So I'm trying to sell my current sofas. It's all right. We'll take flex, whatever. I think I'd rather go to campfire than boss. Try to smith up something sweet. What does heavy blade do? Ooh. Deal 14 damage, strength affects heavy blade five times. It's pretty good with the fact that we just got strength with flex. Because it's like a combo together. Gain four strength at the end of your turn, lose four strength. What about chair? Anders, I, I'm thinking I'm bringing chair, but I... What I actually might end up doing is like trying to find the same manufacturer chair and finding the same chair. So I'm not 100% sure if this literal chair is coming with me. If it's not, we'll do some sort of Viking funeral for it. Bash gets some nice up too. Let me see. Deal 10 damage, apply 3 vulnerable. That is really nice. I kind of think this card is dope. I want to go all in and try to like beef our attack if we can and just buy all the cards that beef our attack. What does Upgraded Flame Barrier do? I didn't have a chance to check, I should have checked. Before you lies an elaborate shrine to Forgotten Spirit. Yes. We get to upgrade again. Gain 16 block whenever you're attacked this turn, deal 6 damage to attacker. That's pretty cool too. I want to see Gabby let chair float down the Chicago River and shoot him with a flaming arrow. What do you guys think we should upgrade? A flame barrier or a bash? I don't think it's flex. It's gotta be bash or flame barrier. It's probably bash. I do flex because you get flex and heavy blade damage will be super. That is true. Maybe we do just go off. I kinda want bash though. You apply vulnerable for three turns? That's so nice. I'll come to like the damage on flex. Maybe we do just get flex. It is gonna be like pretty silly if we ever get those two cards together. I work from home and use a cheap folding chair. Will you? <laughs> you just, you get to have chair if you want, Anders. I don't even care about the money, but it really depends on whether or not I find the manufacturer chair. Um, okay. Wow, we did it. Look at this. One shot killed them. Okay. Deal four damage and apply to one vulnerable to all enemies. Rampages deal eight damage. Every time this card is played, increase its damage by four this combat and shrug it off. It's gain eight block, draw one card. That was basically channel fireball, right? You guys you guys do recognize that we assembled channel fireball, right? That was pretty sick. Wait, what are all these texts that I got? Uh, okay, I want to say that I, we don't want any cards. If we want anything, maybe we want Rampage. Deal 8 damage every time this card is played. Increase its damage by 4 this combat. Maybe it is Rampage. Did we already talk about how they added Twitch voting to Slay? Oh, they did? Is it, a, is it an overlay? Thunder Club is fantastic, especially versus the birds. Yeah, Rampage is strictly better than Strike. Alright, we'll take a Rampage. I just, I like that. Ooh. Let's go. We're gonna have to fight one of these guys no matter what. So I think we go this way. Gain 
and energy the first turn of each combat. Ooh! That was a good one. Smith. Yeah, we don't need a heal yet. Healing's for chumps. Deal 8 damage every time this card is played. Increase its damage by 8 for this combat. Ooh. Extra energy is really, really good. So it's Bash, Flame Barrier, or Rampage, I think. Is this game roguelike, or have we been on the same run since you started? Uh, this is our fourth run, I want to say, Liron. Uh, I think I'll take... Yeah, all of our choices are good. I think I'm gonna do Rampage. All right, can we assemble the combo, please? No, oh, we got j negated. This one's hitting us for eight and some other stuff, so. I guess we'll defend, defend, and then we'll strike this one. So if I go buy this game, there's some way to cite you in order to give you credit? Uh, I don't think so, Siri. I wish... Actually, I think if you look at my... What just happened? Did we just get, like... Oh, hello. Flex. Rampage of this punk. And God, we're getting dazed so much. We're so dazed and so confused. Okay, at least they all took damage from trying to hurt us, I suppose. We might as well use Flame Barrier to protect from that eight and try to kill this one, probably. Um, yeah, I think you can buy, like, you can buy games so that I get, like, a commission, basically, if you buy them through. I think it shows up underneath my profile. I'd... To... Be totally honest, I've never really seen it work before. Because I always play magic and you can't like download magic. What is the third one doing? Also just attacking us. We're actually getting kind of browned by these things. In fact, I think this game's gonna go. F this round's gonna go for a little lo longer, so I'm gonna drink the regen potion. <laughs> Ooh, heavy blade, flex, heavy blade, probably this thing. Perfect. Thaumaturge coming back with the three months. Thaumaturge, welcome back to the brood. Thank you so much for supporting the stream. I appreciate that. I hope you're doing lovely tonight. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So basically our deck is like mono garbage. <laughs> okay, so let's put a flame barrier on. And... Kill this. I have three more turns to heal three at the end of the turn, so I, I'm gonna see if I can just like defend against this thing so I can actually gain some life. Like, I'm gonna try to get the game to go a little bit longer. 
Like, I can flame barrier. I can put it to four, I think that's fine. It's still just dazing us. We have two more turns left of that. Um, I almost don't want to flame barrier because it's gonna die, it's gonna take four damage. <laughs> And it's gonna hit us for eight. So I guess it's fine to, we're gonna waste two turns, but we're gonna have to flame barrier. Hey, Hypromancer, thank you so much for the two months. I appreciate it. Garib says, is there any way you can move your webcam window all the way up? You're currently cover some of the, oh, I cover up the enemies on Tensei. Yeah, I can totally move it. Yeah, if my webcam is ever, like, not in the right spot, chat, just let me know. Gremlin Horn. Whenever an enemy dies, gain an energy and draw one card. I think that card's pretty cool. Gain two energy and add a card to your deck. Feel no pain. Whenever a card is exhausted, gain four block. Deal 9 damage, place a card from your discard pile on top of your draw pile, and whenever you play an attack this turn, gain 4 block. I don't like any of these cards. I think we're gonna skip it. We can kill that one. And we can kill. Ooh, thank you for whoever that was supporting the stream via the Humble Bundle. I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. All right, that one's dead. Wow, our relic is like going the distance. Hey Siri, oh, thank you. I'm glad you bought the thing through the Humble Bundle. Yeah, I, so the Humble Bundle is one of the ways to do it. There's like a, ooh. We get to flex and Heavy Blade. Pow. That was nice. Explosive Potion, deal 10 damage to all enemies. We have to use our potions, otherwise we're not gonna be able to pick them up. Add a card to your deck. Apply one week to all enemies exhaust. Fiend fires exhaust your hand, deal seven damage for each exhausted card, and you exhaust it. And rupture is whenever you lose HP from a card, gain one strength. I don't think we want any of these. Thank you, chat. Yeah, that is awesome. Thank you for using the Humble Bundle link to, to help the stream out. I, I really appreciate it. You returned from the playgroup. Ninja, how was it? I have too many potion sick brags. What do we do? Do we take, um... Well, Intimidate is not free to take because it is another card in our deck. Like, it... It's not... There is a cost to... Having cards that are not amazing in your... Like, that don't help your strategy. Fiendfire is good. I have played with Fiendfire before. I don't like any of these. Chat, I think I'm gonna skip it. I'm gonna go through question mark. You find yourself filled in, uh, filled with racks of test tubes, beakers, flasks, forceps, pinch clamps, string rods, tongs, goggles, funnels, pipettes, cylinders, condensers, and even a rare spiral tube of glass. Why do you know the name of these tools? It doesn't matter, you take a look around. Find some potions. No, we have so many potions.
Feels bad, man. I'm gonna take the strength potion. <sighs> Feels bad, man. Let's flex. Let's bash. Uh, let's kill you. Uh, let's strike you. Strike you. God, we just <laughs> we just went off. I think shrug it off is getting a block drawing card. I think we took the potion that we wanted out of that. So can only be played if every card in your hand is an attack card. Deal 14 damage. That card is really strong, but we do have two wall of fires. And it's like pretty, I think that card's pretty bad with wall of fire. And you didn't want flex, you're right, you're right. It is really good, but I think it's not good in our deck because we have the two wall of fires. Perfected strike is deals six damage, deals an additional plus two damage for all of your cards containing strike. We do have a lot of strike cards, but it costs two. Sorry to bug you about your layout again, but can you please turn off the overlay you have on top? You're currently covering Oh, you're fine, Garab. I forgot that this game doesn't actually want us to have an overlay. Bam. Play the wall and then clash. But we have two walls. I mean, clash is really good. Maybe... I do think that card's very good. We're not gonna... We don't need a rest. This is 18 damage. Maybe we wanna, yeah, now we wanna level up the bash, I think. All right, you guys ready for the first boss? Hexaghost, you're vulnerable, yo. Okay, so we can drink the strength potion now for the boss fight. And we don't really need the explosive potion. But we can heavy blade this thing and rampage this thing and strike this thing. We dealt out a good amount of damage. We could take energy and just like hit it for two because right now we have strength plus two. It's probably worth it. Oh boy. That's a lot of attack. Seven times six? Excuse me? I'm glad we dealt it so much damage just now, my god. Let's just protect. <laughs> Excuse me? No, it's only dealing a six, okay. Oh, look, we can clash if we use our defense right now. So we should use the defense. And now we can bash to deal it vulnerable. And now we can clash. Pow! And now it has vulnerable three. Protect! I have till it lights up again. All right, we, we got this. I'm not worried. We can deal it, pull it vulnerable again. Damage you. Alright. <laughs> Fuck all these defense cards and this clash in our hand. I regret buying clash already. Let's remember that we can deal at 10. Oh my gosh, it's at three. I think we can kill it. I think we got this. Let's 
Seven times two, huh? I guess we got a flame barrier. It's getting so much stronger on a per turn basis. Still got vulnerable three. Heavy blade is good. God, look at these defenses! Oh, this can just kill it. That thing was spooky. Bludgeon just deals 32 damage. Gain 30 block and exhaust. Block no longer expires at the start of your turn. No, I don't think we want any... All these... How good is Bludgeon? Bludgeon just in hitting something for 32 damage is kind of sweet. I mean, these are like the... These are the rares from like a boss, right? All of these are not amazing. I'm not impressed by any of the cards that we are getting here. Costing three does cost a lot. Barricade is really good with our walls, but we're not really like a walls deck. We're definitely more of an attack deck. I'm actually gonna skip. I'm gonna skip you guys and feel bad. Okay, let's look at the um, relics. Gain energy at the start of each turn whenever you open a non boss chest, obtain a curse. No, I like getting chests. Let's not do that. Tiny house. Obtain one potion, gain 30 gold. Raise your max HP by five and obtain one card. That's like, that's really cute. Astroblade, upon picking up, choose and transform three cards and upgrade them. Transform, transform cards become a random card in, of any rarity. Upgrading cards makes them more powerful cards. Ooh, Astroblade sounds really cool. Hey, Chad Haynes, how are you? Welcome to the stream. You guys, I kind of want to take the Astroblade. Like, we could get anything. It could be really, really sweet. I thought you said Tiny Horse when I was thinking about Cards Against Humanity. Astro RNG sounds really just like Astro Blade. I, let's just do it. Come on. It's going to be fun. Choose three cards for Astro Blade. So, choose and transform three cards and upgrade them. So, let's transform all the Protects. Because we already have the two Flame Barriers. So... Protect, protect, protect. <laughs> Limit break was dope. Hold on. I want to see what you gave me. Limit break is strength adds additional damage to attacks. Double your strength. That's cool. Twin strike, deal damage twice. And drop kick, deal eight damage. The enemy is vulnerable. Gain one energy and draw one card. Whoa, that's a combo with our um, bag of marbles. Because our all of our enemies, if we ever have that in our opening hand, our enemy is going to get vulnerable. And... It's a combo with Bash. This is so dope. We actually, we actually got there. The RNG Jesus <laughs> smiled upon us. Uh, okay, so which path do we want? Let's see. This path gets you to treasure chest. This path is kind of sweet because we get to go into a uh, treasure room or like merchant rather. And we get to cut maybe like one of the bad cards in our deck or like we have 242 gold and then we still get to go this way for flame. Yeah. All right. So let's go this way. Oh, this guy is a jerk. Wait, do we have a, uh, we have heavy blade on flex. We did it. So we bash and then we have your blade? Yeah. <laughs> Huzzah. It's down to 12. Got 25 from that? Stupid. It's planning on hitting us for this. We can block for 10. Oh yeah, so if we flame barrier, we actually get to strike this thing and then we also get to clash it. And we're not going to take any damage. This doesn't look like standard. DZ, have you played um, 
Slay the Spire. This, this card is really good. Or sorry, this game is really fun. Oh, fun. We get to limit break. Double my strength, and then we get to point strike that. Bam! 19 gold, explosive potion, and we get to add a card to our deck. Ooh! Clash is getting good in our deck again because we're like all attack. Not yet, it looks dope. This game is super duper fun, DC. Lose me go. Hi, Noob. Hey, lose me go. I think we want. Clash. Clash is very good. It's starting to get like. Didn't we have one strength for that turn? Okay, merchant, what you got for me? <laughs> Luis Miguel, you came in here and called me a noob and now you're like, Suits your, it floats your boat, Luis Miguel. Mummified hand, whenever you play a power, a random card in your hand costs zero for the turn. What's the game called? It's called Slay the Spire. Yeah, we could card removal service to just get rid of like a strike, because they're like pretty crappy. I don't have any powers. Anyways, have a great night. Oh, sounds good, DC. Enjoy the rest of your night. Whenever a card is exhausted, you gain four block. You have a lot of two cost cards, madness. What other relics you can buy? Um, magic flower I can't afford. Healing is 50% more effective during combat. That's pretty sweet. Membership card in future acts. Shop, shops appear 50%. Bonus 20%. Oh! You guys, this card looks dope. In future acts, shop appears 50% more often, bonus 20% discount on all products. So does that mean that if I buy this, every time I play Slay the Spire from now on, Shops appear 50% more often, and I get 20% discount on all products. Because that seems pretty cool. Oh, and it's this, this, not forever? Never mind. So let's just go card removal service and get rid of one of these strikes. All right, and I don't think I want to get anything else. Deal four damage, place a copy of this card into your discard pile. Deal seven damage to all enemies. I don't want that. I was trying to game the system. Madness seems excellent. Which one's madness? A random card in your hand costs zero for the rest of combat. It does not seem excellent, I don't think. We have a lot of like pretty cheap cards. Not that it's not good, I just don't think it's like good for us. Punk phase. Okay. What are we have explosive deal ten damage to all things? We might as well flame barrier. We're pr gonna protect- it's also gonna give us a, a negative effect. That's fine. So let's just strike it twice. Actually, is Heavy Blade is better? It is. Madness upgrades to cause zero. Exhaust means that you can't play it again for the rest of, um... Ooh, we can clash a bunch here. So let's bash. 
This is a skill, so we need... Yeah, so we need to limit break. It doesn't actually do anything, but now we can clash and clash. It basically, you don't get to play it again for the rest of combat. Ow, that dealt me a lot of damage. Oh, flex is sweet. Now we just get to kill it. It dealt us a, quite a bit of damage on that one attack. Energy potion, and that a card. Deal 9 damage, draw 1 card, deal 3 damage to random enemy 3 times, and gain 1 vulnerable, deal 9 damage. I don't think any of these look good. I'm gonna skip. I think there's a campfire this way, so let's go this way. We're gonna make our deck super thing. Actually, this is a good one to throw this. And now we have a, like a little bit more room. Might as well flex. We're not gonna be able to clash. The flame barriers aren't gonna do anything because none of them are attacking us next turn. That's unfortunate. Well, if we go flame barrier and flame barrier, we can actually clash this one. Which is not the worst. I'm back, can confirm Draft was a train wreck. The brave diocese is a coward's chat. <laughs> Eastern, I like it. Uh I can clash this thing to kill it. We drew another strike. So we can't make our enemies vulnerable any any way here. So we might as well just twice this, drop kick this, strike it, and strike it. Almost dead. Actually, I don't want to take six damage from this thing, so I'm gonna send a, a throw explosive potion. We get to kill that one. And we get to strike this one too. And now we're just gonna take six from it and then we get to heal it. So it was actually like, the savings were pretty good. My strength... I do not have any way to buff my strength right now, so... Probably just this, and then strike it. If I use the energy potion, I can just kill it and save 7 life. That's probably worth it. My powers were matched. What game is this? This game is called Slay the Spire. Skill costs zero whenever you play a skill exhausted. We don't have that many skills. Bludgeon is still 32 damage and headbutt is deal 9 damage. Place a card from your discard pile on top of your draw pile. All these still look bad. It's a deck building game. So as the game advances, you keep adding cards to your deck. I really like this game. I think this game is awesome. Um... I'm gonna flame barrier just so that I get to clash this. Oh no, wait, we have two flame barriers. Never mind. Let's do this because our enemy is weakened, so we get to draw an extra card. Ooh, we get to apply 10 vulnerable to this. And it's not attacking us next turn, it's gonna use a negative effect. So we might as well go strike. We can't clash. We can just end our turn. Butthead gives you flex back. That is interesting. Oh, we have no way to increase our energy. Or we need more cards that increase our strength. Oh boy. That thing's dealing us a lot of damage in a second. Are we supposed to limit break here? Headbutt gives you rampage back. Ra getting rampage back is really nice. And rampage gets stronger, that's true. Maybe I'm supposed to limit break for nothing so I can clash here. And then I get to play rampage and twin strike. Yeah. Doesn't do anything, but now we can clash. Uh... 
almost dead. We're about to take a shit ton of damage here, though. Uh. Dead. So we are gonna have a problem with we don't heal very well. Another clash. Dual wield creates two copies of an attack or power card in your hand. Well, dual wield with like with um, the strength card is pretty good. Clash is also really nice, except if we ever have the like skills or the defense walls. But maybe it's worth it. Maybe your deck is just mono clashes. We're at forty four out of eighty. Chat. What do you think? The best for tech is good attack. That is that is the kind of build that we have. We have like almost no defense here. Do you guys think we smith instead of rest? We're at 44. Tom Prince wants smith. Resting seems smart. No chicken. All right, no chicken. Let's smith. I think we should probably rest, but whatever. Um... Since we have so few flame barriers, I think maybe we should upgrade one of them so that if we ever feel like we need to protect, we can protect better. This is just 14 to 18. Like, I think this is probably just gonna be better for us since we only have two protect cards. Uh, scaling the city, you notice a wall covered with the writings of ancients. As you try to wrap your head around what the puzzling symbols and glyphs could mean, you'd Writing begins to glow. Suddenly, the message becomes clear. Elegance, remove a card from your deck. Upgrade all strikes and defense. Hey, Terma, this game is called Slay the Spire. My guess is like simplicity is like a little bit better here because look at our deck. What happens when you upgrade this one? You upgrade. Six to nine. So we either take a strike out and we only have three strikes left in the deck. I think maybe we wanna... We don't have that many strikes in defense. We only have like... F yeah, I think it's better to remove a strike since we have so few strikes left and we don't have any defense. Let's remove a card. Two campfires in a row. Okay, now we could rest and not be a chicken stream. Or we could just smith. We don't even have that many cards that are like good for us to level up at this point. We have the clashes. We could upgrade a clash and that's it. Our deck is so small, it's like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So, yeah, like that's why we keep getting the combo. We need more cards like Flex is what we need. Check the map. Uh, let's take a look at the map. There's basically a lot of bosses from here until the next campfire. So I think maybe we're supposed to... Oh, yeah, upgrading the other flame barrier. Yeah, maybe that's the move. Okay, I feel like we're gonna die by doing this, but... <laughs> okay, so now we only have two protect cards, but they're both very good. Bag of preparation. At the start of each combat, draw two additional cards. Very nice. That is kind of awkward, though. We have a lot of cards that care about... Okay, did we draw no... This is a skill, so we can do that. But then, these are all attacks, perfect. So, we're just gonna clash the hell out of these things. I think we'd rather try to kill this punk if we can. Perfect, and then we get to draw, ooh! Limit Break is dope. Pow! Do we use Explosive Potion? I guess not, because it's just gonna give us a buff. 
Wow, we kind of got to go off the, the caca, it says. It's increased its strength, but we're just going to kill it anyway. You're dead. How you like me now, sucker? 13 gold fire potion deals 20 damage. Add a card to your deck. We assembled Voltron for sure. Combust is at the end of your turn, lose one HP and deal four damage to all enemies. I don't think we want that. I feel like HP is a very valuable resource. Seeing red, you gain two and you exhaust. Seeing red might be sweet for us because it does give us more energy. And corruption, skills cost zero whenever you play a skill exhausted. That doesn't, yeah, let's see red. I think Sea Red's gonna be good in our deck. Okay, let's. We get to do a lot of stuff here. We might want to Flame Barrier just so that we can clash because. Because we get to Flex and Heavy Blade too. Yeah, I think that's worth it. So let's. Kick it off by seeing red. And we can flame barrier. Before we draw any other cards, let's go flex is fine. And... There's no way to weaken this thing, huh? It's, I mean, it's already weakened. Rampage is just strictly better than Strike here. Oh, I could just um, Fire Potion to kill this thing. It's probably worth it because we get to draw an extra card and we get an extra energy. Oh yeah, but I don't think I have any ways to draw out of that Tom Prince because I actually need to kill that thing first before that happens. I'm gonna rampage and strike it. It's almost dead too. Our deck is cool. I, I've never assembled a deck before that feels like it can almost... Twelve, and what can we draw? At a random attack to your hand, it costs zero this turn exhaust. Ooh, Infernal Blade leveled up is pretty cool. Because this is a skill, but it basically, like an attack that's going to cause zero is going to be free no matter what. Why are we killing the Plague Doctor? I don't know, maybe we're supposed to kill the bird first? This looks great. Because it's leveled up already. So even if it's a skill, you still just turn it into attack. Yeah, but it dilutes your combo, I think. But as long as you can play it for free, I think it's fine. Pummel or a blade, pummel for strength to such gas. Yeah, but it's also... I'm gonna take Infernal Blade. I don't know if that's right, but I do think it's pretty nice that it's just gonna turn things for free. Which one's better to attack? Ooh. We get to do some stuff here. Which one's better to kill between these two first? Because I, I don't think I've ever seen the difference between which one's better to leave around. Because we get to see red here. We flex. We limit break. Oh boy. The knight is a better one to kill? Alright, knight. Dead! Fernal blade. <laughs> our deck is so cool! I love our deck! It just like gets to... Battle trance. You draw three cards, you cannot draw any additional cards this turn. 
Flame Barrier and Sword Boomerang. Deal three damage to random enemy three times. I think we just skip this one. These cards seem to do a lot of damage. Luis, we kind of assembled like a kind of broken combo. Our deck has no defense, but if it just manages to like... Oh god, we have a bunch of... At least we drew both Flame Barriers at the same time. Which means that we're not going to play this Clash. Did she do all that with only two energy? I had four energy. Our deck is really good. I really like our deck. Let's use that Infernal Battle Blade. Cost one... One less energy for each time you lose HP in combat, deal 16 damage. I mean, that's not bad. I'm gonna try to kill this guy first. They're both going with a bunch of attack, so... I think if we Flame Barrier twice... We get to the bonus of Blood for Blood this thing, and we get to Clash it too. And if we throw 10 damage to all enemies, we kill it and we get to draw an extra card. So we get to rampage it also. On this turn where we have like a really insane strength. All right. Take 12. Ooh, let's see red and let's increase our strength. And now we can twin strike this, clash and clash. Wow, so we basically our deck like needs to kill our, our opponents in like the first couple turns, otherwise we have no way to defend against them. Heavy blade deal 14. Oh god, heavy blade is so good when we have the like increase the attack stuff. Like heavy blade is like the best card in our deck. So basically, attack is greater than protect. Yeah, I think I'll take Heavy Blade. It is like the best card in our deck. We do need to upgrade it though. Oh, Burbs. Does this, this gains two energy. Okay, so let's kick it off by seeing red. Oh, perfect. We have the combo of flex into, we wanna clash first, I believe because we are gonna kill these birds and then we might draw a card that we can't play with heavy blade so let's go clash actually how much is heavy blade gonna be 26 actually it's fine 11 hold on So now we draw another one. That is fine. We get to clash and clash dead. Draw another one. Okay, see, so we sequence that right because now we wouldn't be able to. And it's only going to deal us a strategic next turn. So let's 10 it and 10 it. And we don't need energy. We might as well use flame barrier. How far into the game are you? We're about to get to the second boss. I actually really like the deck that we drafted this time. I think it's really sweet. Infernal Blade. We got a Rampage. If you hover and attack over a vulnerable and you see how much damage it will actually- Oh, that is actually useful. This doubles my strength. Actually, basically the question is, do we want to take six damage and we're at 68? Cause we get to draw one more card here. Oh, that actually just kills it. Never mind, it was vulnerable. 10 gold and add a card to your deck. Whenever you lose HP from a card, gain one strength. Cost one less for each time you lose HP in combat and gain five block. None of these cards do anything for us. Choice of two fire pits. Let's go to this one. We're at 74 out of 80, which means we can smith. Oh, let's upgrade the other heavy blade. 
Yeah. The clashes are going to be good if we're able to upgrade him at some point, but... What is a seeing red... Seeing red cause zero. No, I think upgrading the heavy blade is better. Yeah. You guys want to smith the seeing red? I honestly think heavy blade is so much better because remember, we have all the cards that combo with heavy blade. So having anything that increases our our damage with a heavy blade is always just gonna almost like one shot our opponent. Okay, we la we died to this punk last time. Let's not die this time. We don't know what it's planning on doing. Okay, so we get to f see red to kick it off. We get to flex and double our string, so we go to eight. We will have to use flame barrier so that we can clash. All right, so let's clash and twin strike and drop kick. So that was not bad. We dealt it a bunch of damage. Uh, cool. All of our sweet effects wore off. Hey, Hada Chief, how are you? Oh, that's right. They play. He plays the minions, huh? Let's play this heavy blade. So deal 34 damage. Deal 6 damage 4 times and exhaust. How annoying are these like little punks? I'm assuming that we should... God, 7 times 2? I think we just focus on... Killing the big guy and not worry about the little ones. They steal my cards. So I think we just focus on killing the big guy. Shall we do that? I don't feel like using the energy potion is going to do that much here. Yeah, I'm gonna go face against this boss. They they took my protect card, which I think is fine. Okay, we just have to make sure we... Oh, perfect. Flex. Uh, we want to definitely deal vulnerable to this thing. But we're not gonna be able to kill it. Shoot. Oh, it also negates two debuffs, so it doesn't matter. So let's go Heavy Blade. And let's clash, and let's strike. <laughs> We're playing Slay the Spire. Good play, go face. Um, don't think we want to use the thing yet. We're only taking eight from that guy, so I think we'll be fine. We just need to be try to kill this in the next turn. Otherwise, we're going to be in trubs. I don't think we need to use the potion right there. Ooh, Limit Break does actually double my strength here, which is nice. And... Fucking taste it. Maybe I should've... Wait, I think I didn't plan that. Oh god, I had the potion! I could kill it! Do not kill me, please! Look, it is fine if we take some damage here because... We heal at the end of this battle, but that was very poorly sequenced. It's fine. We will be fine. It's not gonna matter. We're not getting punished. Taste it, sucker. I got my stuff back. <sighs> I got really nervous. Oh, demon form so good with everything we're doing. Demon form, demon form is slow. Demon form is slow if you have no block. Actually, I think Vorsmith has a point. Because we are kind of doing our, we are doing our combo on like turn one. 
Yeah, our opponents are dead before demon form is good. I, I've had a deck with demon form before. I actually think he's right. I actually think we don't want any of these cards. If anything, limit break is pretty sweet. Double your strength and exhaust. I think we just take another limit break because I think it's really good with all of our, like, the cards that we just upgraded. Yeah, I think we're taking limit break. Okay. Obtain three curses and three relics. I don't think we're at a point where we need that right now. Mark of Pain. Gain energy at the start of each turn. Starts combat with two wounds in your draw pile. I don't like that because it dilutes our combo. Velvet Choker. Gain energy at the start of each turn. You cannot play more than six cards per turn. Where can you get this game? It's on Steam. Um, I actually think the Velvet Choker... Turtling, nay, slaying, yeah. I actually think Velvet Choker's pretty good for us. Um, Because it's not like we draw that many. Bell is, like, really RNG, and I think we are actually have, like, a pretty good build that's really lean and doesn't have any, like, spare cards. So I don't think I want to get the Bell. I think we want the Velvet Choker's dangerous. Have I tried Card Hunter? No, I haven't. Velvet will surprise you by how much it limits you. So, I feel like... I, I don't... What if I don't want any of these? <laughs> you were surprised by how often I hit six cards, really? Like, oh no, my chat just crashed. Are you? Well, that's bad. All right, I found on chat again it's okay if your deck is expensive enough I feel like we have some pretty expensive cards okay I found chat again what if I feel like I don't want any of these I I, I don't often pass on like a boss relic but my gosh hey for us welcome to the stream choker is bad on silent ironclad doesn't I think mark is the second best energy relic mark this one the problem is that I think I'm gonna skip. I know that's crazy because this is like a boss. It just I feel it feels like diluting all those things. All they do is dilute. They all dilute what our strategy is, and I feel like that's pretty punishing, given that our deck needs to be like pretty lean. Uh, this route with like the treasure chest and the fire pits looks pretty nice. Let's go here. What is lifelink? If other enemies, if other enemies are still alive, revives too. Interesting. Okay, there's a lot of um, attack coming our way, and I have a potion slot, so I might actually get to do something cool if I go like flame barrier, flame barrier. So I get to use infernal blade. Ooh, bludgeon is good. <laughs> Let's kill the one that's gonna deal us the most damage. Bludgeon for zero mana is a good deal. What are we playing? This game is called Slay the Spire. So, we're gonna bludgeon this thing. And. Flash it. Oh, that's right. You want to weaken them all at the same time, right? I'm going to use my energy potion. Yeah, I'm going to hit some of the others. So I'm going to drop kick. Uh, 
Does it say how much it's gonna take? No. Oh, it's because I... I know they regen to like halfway through, so... It's gonna deal at 15, and this is gonna deal at 21. Probably want a heavy blade and drop kick. Let's drop kick first. Ooh. Okay, almost done. Ow, and ow. Okay, that one died. This one's regrowing. Can I even attack it? It's just like regrowing right now. Okay, so let's flex and limit break. And now we heavy bladed this one dead. Whenever you lose HP from a card gain one strength, gain seven block, deal seven damage, deal, deal 10 damage, draw two cards. None of these cards do anything good for us. Yeah, our, our deck is, like I said, you have to win in like the first two turns or something. Oh my gosh, we have so many limit breaks. This is kind of not where we want to be at. A bunch of skills, a clash that we can't use. Let's drop kick first. We got a strike. I mean, we dealt it a lot of damage. Oh, we got burnt. Okay, so let's see red, flex, and heavy blade to kill it, basically. Uh, now we can just bash it. Dead. And this is why I don't play 61 cards. This is like, this is like magic lesson immediately. Gain an energy, lose three HP. I don't think about the pummel strike draw. Deal 9 damage, draw card, no. Add 2 wounds to your hand, gain 15 block. None of these do anything for us. What does the anchor relic do, pal? The maw! It's gonna do a negative effect and it's gonna take 50% more damage from attacks. It's vulnerable for a relic right now, so let's kick it off by seeing red. I guess we're gonna drop kick to see if we draw like a clash doesn't help us too much. I mean it does help in that if we play flame barrier we can play clash. So let's bash. Heavy blade. It's not gonna deal us damage next turn. Yeah, let's just heavy blade and rampage and then pass dude flexes would be so freaking good in our deck i've been made frail and weakened Ooh, flex let's limit break and now we can strike strike we're gonna in trouble though. This thing, this is a long fight. We don't do well in long fights because we have no way to protect. Let's use this real quick. We got a flame barrier if we want to clash, so fortunately we gotta do this. Clash. Clash. Drop kick. Heavy blade. Wait, what did I do wrong? Garib, what did I do wrong? Shit, we're gonna take so much damage in a second. Oh, that's right, I should limit break twice there. You are right about that. All right, so flex, limit break, 
And now we can just bash. I don't have enough energy, but that's fine. I'll kill it the next turn. Yeah, that was my bad. I should have gained this. I should have gained all the strength. It's okay. This guy's about to die in a second. It didn't actually matter. Hey, Kamama, welcome. This deck is pretty sweet. I am really into it. Thank you so much, Kamama. Welcome to the brood. I hope you're having a lovely one. I appreciate you supporting the stream. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Why can't we get a flex? None of these do anything. Let's take merchant. Do you have anything dope? We have 444, we can buy any relic. Upon pickup, choose a skill card at the start of each combat. This card will be in your opening hand. Whenever you play a power, heal 2 HP. Whenever you lose HP in combat, gain 3 block next turn. Craig, just because... It's literally free fixing? What does Warcry do? I might have not read it. Oh, drawing flex every time is really nice. Ah. Bottle of Lightning does seem really good if we grab um, flex. We can also do card removal service and get a strike out of our deck. Yeah. Okay, we got rid of strike. Cool. Uh, question mark. As you head upwards from a floating shape to another, you slip. You begin to fall. While in free fall, you consider your options. Then safely with your greatest techniques. Channel of power to survive the fall. Strike at the wall to hang on to it. Lose Infernal Blade? Which one's that one? We can lose Infernal Blade, I think. Draven, thank you so much for the three months. Thank you, thank you so much, Draven. I appreciate that. I think we can lose Infernal Blade. What do you think? Yeah, it's like doesn't it's not super relevant to our game plan. It's just kind of RNG card. I think we want to heal now because we're at 41. All right. We are finally making our like for reals run to the boss. I don't know if we're going to make it. Let's go to question mark. Fuck, it was like a, a boss fight. <laughs> Sir Salasta with the five months. Welcome back. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm just, does it still show MTG? I forgot to change the game. Let me change it. My B, my B. Yeah, I'm guessing the boss, we're not gonna be the boss to make it. Vorsmith for the first time sub, welcome Vorsmith. My guess is we don't have the, the, the open sphere fight reward relic or leave. Oh, I'm gonna be chicken shit. No need to be greedy. I am gonna be chicken shit. Alright, well there's flex and there's limit break. Nice. Okay, so let's go flex and limit break. And now we can start clashing. And we can drop kick this first. Because we're gonna get to draw an extra card. Um, actually, we wanted to clash first because what do we draw skill? Dead. Limit break, hello. Bam. Fuck, flame barrier. Okay, that's fine. We go. 
Rampage. Strike. Dead! All in turn one and we gain six life. Weak potion's not bad. Apply three weak. But what if the game doesn't even last that long? Deal four damage and apply one vulnerable to all enemies. Deal nine damage, place a card from your discard pile on top of your draw pile. Headbutt is kind of interesting. It has a couple combos in our deck. And metallicizes at the end of your turn, gain four block. The turn one kills are like pretty nice. I like our deck a lot. I think we did a good job with this deck today. Yeah, I think I'm gonna skip it. Headblood has some combos in our deck, but it's just not worth it, I don't think. Ice cream. Energy is now conserved between turns. I don't think we are gonna have much of that as a problem. Let's play Flame Barrier because now we can play our clashes. Probably kill the ones that are trying to attack us. Heavy Blade, 34. Let's just kill this one. Clash, perfect. All right, so that thing is just gonna Kill Repulsor if they mess up your combo. I don't know which one the Repulsor is, but it's gonna be dead. Oh, I should have, hold on, I should have Limit Break first. Yeah, that was a mistake. Now I can't Clash, yeah. Uh, I don't think that we were supposed to use Flame Barrier that combat. Because it wasn't going to attack us. So, let's see red. Alright, now we can just kill it. Because it wasn't going to attack us at all. So it didn't... That, that turn it didn't matter. Another Heavy Blade is interesting, but I don't actually think we need to dilute our deck. Our deck is really, like, really needs to be super thin. And we don't even get to have the upgraded version of that thing. Question mark or... Ball, or like monster. I think we take question mark. It could be sweet. Yeah. Before you light an elaborate shine of the forgotten spirit, upgrade a card. Sea red costing zero is kind of cool. Limit grade. Limit break doubling your strength and not exhausting is kind of interesting. The, the fights never go long enough. I'm just, Garab, I'm pretty reticent of adding more stuff. Oh, seeing red plus ice cream is really nice. But Vorsmith, the... I feel like the... Um, the boss has 400 HP or more. Maybe it's... I, I have fought the boss before Vorsmith. I've beat him once. Seeing red costing zero is super nice with ice cream. Limit break not. Gotta keep this. Gotta keep this deck from getting too thick. Yeah, exactly. More cards just mean more jobs. I know there's three different bosses. I oh, you mean at the end, Birdman? Yeah. Ice cream and sea red seems pretty nice. I think I'm gonna do sea red. I think ice cream and sea red is like a pretty nice combo. We're really close to the end. Oh no, I'm actually pretty scared of this one. Um, so let's definitely flex. If we play flame barrier, we get to clash. I want to save poison for the boss, I think. It's probably. 
probably worth it if I go Flame Barrier Bash and then Clash. Yeah, it's probably worth it. God. Oh my gosh, this- uh, the- You like to hit and hope for limit break? I mean, limit break would be sweet in that spot. We're actually in a tough spot here. I think we can flame barrier limit break to just clash clash. We, we get to save some block against this because it's going to deal us a ton of damage. We could use a weakened potion, but I think I want to use it against the boss. We're like pretty close to the boss now. Yeah, I think it's barrier blade crush too. Okay, so now we get to clash, clash. Not, I want to save that potion for the boss. I don't even think that the poison potion is what we want. Yeah, our build is like this. Let's see red. God. Ragnar Ked, thank you so much for the host. I hope you're doing awesome. I really appreciate that host, and if you're coming in from Ragnar Ked's stream, welcome. My name is Gabby, and I am playing Slay the Spire today. If you've never played this game before, it is like... Uh, Limit Break doesn't do anything right now. Hey, Nikolai Bolas, how are you? Welcome. Oh my gosh. We're like not close to killing it either. It's gonna deal 28. I think we have to do the throw the weak thing at it. Oh my god. We're probably gonna die here. Hemorrhaging the Starcraft. I like it, Ragnarok. I hope your stream was really good. Thank you for the host. I really appreciate it. God, we're gonna die. Hey, Dave Greco. Welcome. How are you doing? You're walking into watch us die in like a second. Um, it is, if you look at it on Twitter, it's a little more noticeable, Nikolai. The lighting in this room makes it look not that purple. It is actually, like, very purple. Yeah, we're the combo deck that actually missed on the combo this time. That's Flame Barrier. I guess... Limit Break lets us cast Clash. Thank you, Dave. I appreciate that. Not attacking us this turn. Let's drop kick and see what we draw. Flex is not bad. I guess we just heavy blade. And Rampage. Oh my gosh, we almost died in this fight. We're gonna have a really hard time with a boss because our life's gonna be so low. Those sharks, the, the boss fights that are really long, we just don't do very well with. None of these cards are good for us. Let's go to campfire for sure. Yeah, I still, I still think it was right to give it that hit. Maybe we were supposed to just pass there. I'm gonna rest. We have ice cream, yeah. Okay, one question mark, one more heal, and then the final boss. You inspired me to draft again, and I remember how awful I am at it. It's okay, Dave. I hope I hope you've been enjoying drafting, it, even if it's just like a little bit. Uh, what do you typically stream? Ah. 
Oh, I'm sorry. This isn't a campfire. This was a merchant. We should try to stock up on something. Strength potion sounds pretty good. Fire potion and poison. We could also do card removal service. Oh, we can't afford it. Um... Concept artist in the game industry, so I paint on creative. That's cool. I like that. That's awesome. Concept artist, huh? So, Warcry is great. Draw one card, place one card from the top of your draw pile exhaust. But you've been an MTG nut forever. Well, I'm glad that you found the stream and you've been playing some of magic since then. I think I'm going to buy a strength potion. I think it's like the best thing that we can buy. This does look interesting. I don't think I want Warcry on my deck right now. Uh, okay. So we rest again. And go into the boss fight. Yeah, okay. You guys ready? We're at full health. And we have a poison and a strength potion. We don't know which one we're gonna get. Let's- oh boy. All right, this is the second this is the second time I've been close enough to actually like get to the end. So Let's do this turn right. We get to see red and we get to flex and we get to limit break. Fuck. I could have limit broken with strength potion. Fuck. Okay, we still use it. We still use it this turn. And we pop this, uh, I don't know which one's scarier. Which one? I punted. I could I should have had more strength. I, I made a goof. Left? Alright. Okay. So now we heavy blade, heavy blade. Well, we want to bash first. Yeah. This does give it vulnerable, so I think it's worth it, even though we have two heavy blades. Actually, no, maybe just two heavy blades is better. Dave Greco! Welcome to the brood! Thank you so much for the support! I appreciate that. They both have a default protecting- sure. But let's- I think we just heavy blade, heavy blade clash. Like, pow, pow, pow. And now we pass. Oh, shh. Birdman, welcome to the brood. You guys think it was Bash still? Let me break is nice here. So let's double our strength. And then we'll flame barrier. And now we can clash. Kill donut. Kill donut. Strike the donut. Thank you so much, both Birdman and uh, Dave. Oh, boy. All right, Donut's almost dead. Okay, we don't have to defend it, we kill it. So, and it's... Okay, Donut is dead. Limit break. Limit break is good. Let's limit break. And... Rampage. Hey! Welcome, Jeebus, with the two month resub. Yes, we got to kill the donut there. That was really good. Killing the donut there is like big game. Our strength right now is 24. Thank you so much, Jeebus, for the two month resub. I appreciate that. Welcome, welcome. This isn't vulnerable, so, but it's still just like better value, so we might as well use it. I hope we get there. We might be getting there. They they shielded up and now they're planning on attacking like big time. Our heavy blade is dope though. Oh my gosh, I wish we had a F. Hey Chris, how are you? Saving might have been an interesting choice there for sure. So if I saved, I could have killed it this turn, but I can't. 
I think we have to Flame Barrier and Twin Strike? Fuck. The Heavy Blade is so much damage, though. Blade Strike? Does that actually... We won't die to this attack, and then maybe we can kill him next turn. Sure. Oh! That actually does get there! I should have done the math. We did it! I thought we were gonna be a little bit short. We get to slay the spire! Thump, thump, thump. A deep, pulsing dread can be felt throughout the room. Is the heart of the spire the source of the evil? You ready your blade. Attack! Protect. You deal 484 damage. The heart squirms and bleeds, but it is ultimately still pounding. Are your mightiest attacks not enough? You ask yourself, have I been here before? I have. You feel like you have dealt a total of 943 damage to the heart. The heart pulses louder and louder as your consciousness fades. Victory? How did I remove all my blocks? I just ran into things. Oh yeah, that was like a good Gabby math moment chat, for sure. Uh, I had a lot of like, at every campsite I removed, I had one card that I could get three cards out of my deck and they would be upgraded into random skills, or sorry, into random cards and then upgraded. So that's how I got rid of all my defense. And then I got rid of all my attacks by, um, every time I went to a merchant, I bought uh, remove a card from your deck. Another run, Pichuna. This is gonna do it for me. I've been streaming for like six hours today. I need to go pack and shit. <laughs> this was good though. We we beat our second run of Slay the Spire. I like that. Feels good, man. Feels good. Feels good. I'm gonna wrap up the YouTube video. Um if you are watching this on YouTube, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you liked it, make sure you uh, thumbs up and subscribe for more of these. I usually have Magic the Gathering on this channel, but I'm starting to upload more stuff like Slay the Spire and other games, so I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, if you want to catch the stream live, you can go to twitch.tv slash gabbysparts. I stream every weekday in the afternoon central times. And if you want to see more of these, you can just go to youtube.com slash gabbysparts. Thanks for watching, YouTube. See you later.